And for our module A, third quarter, the last module for English 2, third quarter. And thanks again to Mami Michelle Bonyao for our PowerPoint for English. The title of module 8 is Listening and Responding to Text to Clarify Meanings Heard While Drawing on Personal Experiences. Personal experiences. Okay. So, in this module, you are going to learn how to answer WH questions, just like in module 4, no answering text, and draw personal experiences from the text heard, based from your experiences. Okay. Listen as your guardian reads the text and answer the questions. Calvin's Day Out by Arlene E. Gazinen. It is Saturday morning. Calvin is going to visit his dentist. Mother reminds him to wear face mask and face shield for his protection. Calvin follows mother's instruction. He is excited to go out because he has been staying home for the past months. Okay, let us answer the following question. Choose the correct answer. Who will visit the dentist? Is it mother, Calvin, or C, Saturday? Yes, it's Calvin. What did mother remind Calvin to do? A, to smile when he will see the dentist. B, to follow dentist instruction. Or C, to wear face mask and face shield. Good job to wear face mask and face shield. For number three, what is the use of face mask and face shield? What is, wh why, why is it important to Calvin to wear the face mask and face shield? Of course, to protect us from the virus because we have uh, COVID-19 is spreading out there, maybe in the air or maybe from the other person. So when we wear face mask and face shield, it will protect us not to get the virus. Okay. Now, for what's in. Okay. Choose and circle the action words. Oh, action words, huh? Let us review those verbs that we studied. Uh, uh, maybe module three. This quarter. What are those action words? Yes, feel. What else? Go. What else? Allow. Yes, allow. Then we have follow. Of course, and we have remind. Those are action lines, remind. Okay, and visit. Okay. And, and under what's new, listen as your guardian reads the story. The story is about the expected visitors by Arlene Iga Singhan again, the writer of this module. is one of my friends. She is one of my friends. Okay, one Saturday morning, Eresa's family was busy cleaning the house. Suddenly, a car honked at their front door. Everyone was puzzled. No? Who is the visitor? The family went outside and looked for the visitor and was surprised to see their relatives from the province whom they had not seen for months because of the pandemic. The family was very happy to greet their relatives and led them inside their house. Yeah, excited sila Okay, let us answer the uh, questions. Who visited the Reza's family? Yes, Reza's relatives. Where did the visitors came from? The visitors came from nearby province. Now for three, four, five, you answer it by yourself. Uh, I answer it uh, to your relatives uh, beside you, okay? Or mother, father beside you, okay? Why do you think the relative visited RSS family? Bakit nga, bakit kaya sila dumalaw? 
Diba? Kasi matagal na silang hindi nakikita for almost a month because of pandemic. Ang sinagot ko pa. What do you know about the word pandemic? Okay, what is pandemic anyway? Have you experienced being visited by relatives? What did your family do? Okay. So that is based on your own experience. Okay, that is our lesson for today kasi. Okay? Then under what is it? Clarifying meaning of the text heard involves checking the listener's understanding correctly and resolving any areas of confusion or misunderstanding through asking WH questions and drawing it to their personal experiences. Okay. Kasi di ba yung yung kwento kanina, maaring nangyari din to sa inyo, may nagbisita ba sa inyo na relatives nyo coming from province dahil almost a year na tayong nasa pandemic. So limited talaga ang travel pero may mga bagay, may mga relatives tayo that they are eager to do what they want to do just to visit us kahit galing pa sila sa malayong lugar. Okay? Okay, and under what's more, listen as your guardian reads the story, then answer the questions that follow. Again, okay. The ant and the grasshopper. There was once an ant who worked day and night. Diba? He looked for food and kept it in his home. He said he would need it during the rainy days. Yan, sikat na sikat na story to. There was a grasshopper who only liked to play. He did not look for food. He danced and sang all day. One night, heavy rains poured. Ant stayed in his warm home and ate his food. Ayan na. Ant took pity on him and let him in. He told Grasshopper that next time, they will look for food together. Yan, di ba? Okay. Answer the question. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Who worked who work day and night? Is it Ant, Grasshopper, or both of them? Good job. It's only the Ant. Where did the Ant keep? His food. Saan nga ba niya tinatabi? In his home. B. In his farm. C. In his playroom. Great. In his home. Who played all day and night? Is it the ant? B. The grasshopper. Or C. Both of them. Good job. It's only the grasshopper played all night and day. C. Now for number four. Why did the ant work night and day? Why do you think so? To have food for the rainy days? Or B, to sleep for the rainy days? Or C, to sell it to grasshopper? What happened to them? Okay, the correct answer is to have food for the rainy days. Para sa oras ng kagipitan, meron silang makakain or meron siyang makakain, hindi lang ng rainy days. Okay? It's just to, to say that rainy days, pero sa oras ng kagipitan, meron kang mauhugot, kumbaga. Okay, if you were to choose between ant and grasshopper, who will you like to be and why? O yan, yan yan, based on your experience na ha? Kung ikaw si grasshopper or the ant, who will you be? Uh, and why? Bakit? Okay. Tell your answer to your guardians nearby or sa yung mother or father na katabi mo. Okay, in under what I can, listen as your guardian read the story again and answer the question. The sad hen. Jen is a hen. She has an egg. She puts it in a pot. Max is a fox. He likes eggs. Max gets the egg from Jen's pot. Jen is very sad. True. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So you will answer this by yourself. Huh? I will not give the answer anywhere anymore. <clears throat> Who has an egg? 
Alam nga naman na si Fox. Where did she put her egg? What did the fox do with Jen's egg? Ano nga ba ang ginawa ni Fox? How does a fox looks like? <clears throat> ano nga ba itsura ng isang fox? Or have you experienced the same sadness as Jen's? Share the experience to your family. Okay, meron ka na ba experience kagaya ng kay Jen? Yung tipong sa'yo yung bagay, biglang kukunin ng iba? Okay. And for our assessment, listen as your guardian reads the story. Or as I read the story, answer the questions. Okay, another story. The Great Worker by Arlene E. Gazingan. Mang Poldo is a show is a shoe maker. He works in a shoe factory in Marikina. He wakes up early, cooks his baon, and walks from home to his work. He is really hardworking. Then after work, he again walks from work to his home. He makes sure to eat dinner with his family. Okay. Now, who is the shoemaker? Mariki A. Marikina B. Mang Poldo C. Factory. Where does he work? A. Marikina in Manila or in Rizal? What does he do every morning? A. Walks from home to his work. Or B, waters his plant. Or C, washes the dishes. Okay, answer that, huh? Now for number four, what do you mean by hardworking? Ano nga ba ibig sabihin ng hardworking? Okay, then five, as a grade two pupil, will you be hardworking in your studies? Yan, kayo din ba ay hardworking? Napakasipag kayo ba ay masipag din sa inyong pag-aaral? Bakit mo nasabi? Why? Okay. Please answer that to your guardian or to your parents. Okay, let them listen to your answer. And for our post-test, listen as your guardian read the story or as I read the story again, then answer the questions. Sam and Ram are twin brothers. Ayan, may rhyming words again. They both like to draw pictures. Yesterday, they drew pictures for their brother, Bam. Ayan, ha? In his third birthday on Saturday, Sam drew a cat on a mat with a red hat. Ram drew a wet hen with eggs. Bam was so happy with their drawings. Yeah, and then rhyming words, na? Okay. So let us answer. Who are the twin brothers in the story? A. Sam and Tam. B. Bam and Ram. C. Sam and Ram. Okay. What do they both like to do? A. Draw pictures. B. Cook foods. Or C. Washing dishes. Now. Who is their brother who will celebrate his birthday? Sino nga ba yun? Si A, si Tam, si Bam, o si Fam? Okay. Then, for number four, when is Pam's birthday? A, on Saturday, B. Or A, on Sunday, B, on Saturday, or C, on Monday. Number five, have you experienced giving gifts? Ayan, syempre, lagi naman, ano? Lalo na pag Pasko, o kaya pag may birth birthday kayong dadalo, ano? Share that experience with your family. Okay. Ano nga ba experience mo kapag ikaw ay binibigyan ng regalo? O di kaya ikaw ang magbibigay ng regalo sa isang may birthday. Okay. Great job, kids! Give it up! God bless you!